Now that you have learned about posting an assignment and posting an announcement, I'm going to tell you about posting a question. Um, again, you would have gone to classroom.google.com, logged in with your WCPS username and password, then you're going to select the class that you would like to post into. You will push the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner, and go up to the third option which, sa which says create a question. This feature allows you to ask a question to your students. Um, it could require a one or two an uh, word answer or a written response. I'm going to ask, just for the sake of this tutorial, what's your favorite color? Now obviously there are lots of instructional implications um, for this feature, but just to show you how to do it, I'm keeping it simple. You can give students a description of the question, so please respond with your favorite color when choosing between red, blue, and green. Um, you can again pay, um, select a due date or you can turn it off so that there is no um, due date or time. If you wanted to, you could upload an attachment like a Microsoft Word document, a PowerPoint, a PDF. You could attach a Google Drive item, a YouTube video, or attach a link. So you could actually um, insert one of these types of documents and then have your students respond to that via this question. Now again you can hit the down arrow and this will allow you to assign this question to more than one of your classrooms. Also um, you can select ask the question now or save it as draft as seen um, in the previous tutorials. I'm going to go ahead and click ask. Now, this is where you allow students either to see and reply to each other's answers. You can unclick that if you would prefer um, for them not to be able to do that, and or you can let them edit their answers. I went ahead and asked a question to my classroom and got some answers just to show you what that looks like. So once the students have answered your question, and again, Google Classroom lets you know how many students have done it and how many are not done. Um, once the students have done it, you can click on the question and it will give you um, the answers that each of the students provided on the side. So I asked, what country are you doing for your culture fair? Lisa said Australia. David said China. Now you'll see that David has one reply, and by clicking on that, you can see that Lisa said, David, I have an aunt who lives in China if you need someone to contact for more information. So this is an example of how the students could respond to each other's questions. If you are doing um, this question for a grade, just like with an assignment, you could put in the total number of points. So let's say I'm using the 1 to 4 WCPS scale. It would be out of 4 points. I want to update that. And then I can then give the students a grade based on um, the responses that they gave. Uh, just like also with assignments, if I click on the actual student's name, I can add a comment to them. So I could go into Lisa's and say, thank you for responding to David's post. And I could post that right to her and then she will see it. None of the other students will. Um, again, as with the assignments, I click return and that's going to return this back to the students and they will be notified that their work has been completed. Up next in our tutorial, I'm going to show you the fourth and last type of post that you can use in Google Classroom, and this is to reuse a post.